next speaker is Dorothy Brower. Is Dorothy Brower in the audience? of Brokers University and a member of URA AFT, I believe that when Rutgers makes an agreement with its workers, it has to keep its promise. In 2009, our union agreed to wait an extra year for our raises. And what, what did you give us? You gave us nothing. You didn't pay us. How can you sit here and look us in the face and consider spending millions of dollars on a new building? If Rutgers is truly facing hard economic times, then you should decide today not to award millions of dollars to a construction to build a business school in New Brunswick. To spend million dollars on yet another building while freezing our salaries, increasing tuition, and without raising in the modern version of saying, let the students and the workers eat cake, I hope that before this meeting is, this board meeting is today, get your priorities in order. Take those millions of dollars and pay down the raising tuition and fees for our students. Pay the staff and faculty living wages that you promised. We can't feed our families or pay that for our health care with bricks. Are you so unconcerned? Are you so far removed? Caring anything about the students and staff that you would continue to make them bear the burden of your so-called economic hard times? How can you justify paying nearly a million dollars to President McCormick and Vice President Fernaski and spend a million dollars on real estate? President McCormick has told the world that he is committed to ending the salary freeze, paying us our raises. But when we come to the table to meet with management, we see that you are still not treating the staff and the lower earning workforce in the same consideration you sold the faculty. We see that although you make generous provisions for executives, you will not follow the law to make our retirees whole. Think about, think about that. You lobbied hard to change the law to protect retiree retirement plans for, for faculty and executives who earn over $140,000. But you cheat PERS retirees with their $20,000 and $30,000 pension. Now as our pension and health insurance costs rise sharply, you expect us to dig in our pockets, but we are sure you will yourself and the deans, vice president, and head coaches who have personal contracts with healthy, healthy bonuses, house payments, country club, and college tuitions for their children. In the business school, students are taught about financial responsibility and the priorities. I ask this board, demonstrate a sound understanding of the business of education, and put the students and staff first by voting no on any new construction. Thank you.